Jim, uh, I take it you've seen the horses have arrived? Uh, yes, I did notice. Only there's a few things for you to sign now that they're being stabled here. Oh. And all cheerily marked with little heart sticky notes. They're all I had to hand, and they're just marking where you need to sign. Yeah, well, it'll have to wait. I have more pressing things on. Uh, Marcus, come in. Take a seat. Thank you. Right, well, I'll uh, go and work somewhere else then. Sir? What's the urgency? Someone's been making withdrawals from an offshore business account of mine. You're going to find out who. Oh, you've got a thing for pensioners. That's why you've been cagey about me using your laptop. No, but that's because you always leave crumbs between the keys. <laughs> it's not an OAP date in sight, Jimmy. It's the mugshots of all the current hunt councillors. Dynamic-looking bunch, aren't they? Tell me about it. I reckon I could soon whip that lot into shape. I mean, let's face it. There aren't many of us out there that can say they were personally headhunted by Kim Tate. I don't follow. Well, it's something Priya said yesterday got me thinking, you know, about needing to be indispensable if I want to stay in Kim's core team. Right. So, I'm going to get myself on the planning committee. I figure that way I can greenlight all Kim's development plans. Clever, huh? Inspired. Hmm. Once I've gone through the inconvenience of getting myself elected, that is. <laughs> what? Uh, no, Binny said I'd make a perfect politician. Didn't you just mean you got a big mouth? Well, if I did stand and get elected, which I would, I'd ban you from the golf course so you can't dodge school pickups. And from wearing stupid trousers. Well, so long as you're doing it for the good of the community. And not just your own personal power trip. Oh, hi, sweetheart. What are you up to? Said I'd meet Vic later for a catch-up. What were you saying, Kyle and that? Sounds nice. Got to fill me time somehow, right? Look, who knows what's around the corner? Plus, your mum's still here. Please, just don't make any rash decisions yet. Kane's only letting Kerry out to butlers later. Talk about asking for it. As if the A word isn't going to get raked up. Amy. Oh, right. It's the mind. It boggles. Can you curb the dramatics, please? Amy is not the devil. Well, I wouldn't expect you to back me up. We all know where your allegiances lie. So much for putting that to bed, then. Eric's right. You need to pipe down, back off, and let Kane deal with this himself. Nope. Shan't be doing that. I'm off up there. Try to talk some sense into him. Talk about overbearing granny. Mm. You know she's going to go absolutely bonkers when she is the news. Another reason for holding off telling people for now. Right. Hey, OK? Why does everyone always ask that? Like, everyone has to constantly be OK. Right, not OK? I'm... I'm here, is what I am. Good enough for you. <sighs> What's up with her? Not a clue. She's been biting my head off ever since she got back from that brewery trip. Then again, I'm just a fiancé. Not gonna confide in me, is she? Still got no idea why the brewery asked her instead of me. Hardly the conscientious one, is she? I'm, I'm just gonna go sort this out. Um, Paddy, can I have a word? Oh, don't worry, I'm going. God, what is it with this place and all your little secrets? Hmm? Oh, yeah, so, uh, I was flicking through the post from earlier. Oh, yeah. Expecting something, were you? You know, he gets all his PS4 games delivered here, so Jesse doesn't know how many he's bought. Is that <laughs> what they are? Oh, I've got to say, I'm a tad relieved. <laughs> Hilarious, obviously, both of you. No, um... You've had a postcard... ..from Bear. I'll have something for you by the end of the day. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> and uh, good to see you again. Bye, then. Goodbye. In case you were wondering... I wasn't. How is it you described us? We had fun, no ties, no questions. 
You sound almost disappointed. Don't worry, Marcus is just a business associate. Nothing more. Oh. What a relief. Just ring her and tell her you've changed your mind about her seeing him. I haven't. Kerry's the least of my worries right now. So you really think that Kerry is about to play ball where Amy is concerned? She will wear you down, son, bit by bit. She'll manipulate you. Oh, yeah. The door was already slightly open. Mm, yeah. You nudged it open, I bet, with that bigger deferring nose of yours. Mother. He's, uh, he's in there playing. Cool. Just go through, then. Hi, buddy. What are you playing? Well, how are you going to keep this up, finding time for supervised visits? Well, it's a slippery slope, as far as I can oh, see. Uh-oh. Hello. Hi. You might spook the sheep. Best got off my land. Uh, sheep aren't normally spooked by horses. I'm sure there's no need to worry. It says I was talking about the horse. Kim, Tate. Yes, I know who you are. Uh, if you're waiting for me to bow and scrape or something, you'll be a while. Like husband, like wife, eh? He's got the same chip on his shoulder, it seems. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just ditch the niceties and you tell me why you're bothering me? Mm -hmm. oh, you got to watch me, kid. Missed is at this. He's on the card sheet. Oh. We're teasing out to Markham next. You can come and join in, you know. Instead of sitting out there chuntering, it's like being watched by the two old grumpy gets off the Muppets. Can we go to the playground now? Uh, I don't think we've got time. We're going to have your tea in a bit, but next time. Amy took me there. Did she? Oh. Well, that was nice of her, wasn't it? She's good for Amy, isn't she? I thought you were playing cards. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're just chatting. So shall about some else? My lord. Don't suppose you've heard from Uncle Zach recently, have you? Surprisingly, no. I mean, he's not exactly the king of WhatsApp, is he? Mm. What about Lisa or Bella? Are they text or anything? No. Why should they have? No. No, to be honest, I was just wondering how they're getting on in Scotland, you know. It's not weird to ask, is it? Not if anyone else were asking. Well, what did it say? It says, greetings from Torquay, which I presume that's where his tour took him next. Right, OK, um, nothing more specific. No, no, just exactly that, which is ironic, really, cos that's just what it says on the front. Right. Why would he send me a postcard that doesn't really say anything? Well, maybe he didn't know what to put. You said yourself it was awkward the way things were left in Belfast. Then why bother at all? We could have suggested staying in touch or we could have made plans of some sort, but neither of us did. Well, maybe he regrets that you didn't. <laughs> put a written address on it. Well, he probably hasn't got one if he's on tour moving round. Yeah. Yeah. Still. No point in reading anything into it, is there? It's just a stupid scribbled postcard. I shan't drag this out. I've heard about your recent financial misfortunes. Ah, there it is. So, like some generous fairy godmother, you've come to offer to bail me out. A little more flowery than I'd have put it, but in essence, yes. And after which I'd be indebted to you, presumably. <laughs> I'd prefer... grateful. And I'd prefer you didn't treat me like an idiot. If you're dismissing the idea before you've seen what I've got to offer, then maybe you are an idiot. You're still on my land. Oh, just take it. I don't want it. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Guess I don't know my own strength. No? Well, it's pretty obvious you don't know mine.
I guess I just thought you were never coming home. I've got used to everyone I care about leaving and never coming back. Like some best friend slash husband repeller. Pack it in, will you? Besides, you've got Maggie. Yeah, now. Well, I had a proper chat the other day. He seems dead happy. Not that I saw that come in mind. Mm. No, I think he is. And not threatening to do one again, at least, unlike some people. Will you stop making us feel guilty, man? I think I'm entitled to, actually. Vic, this isn't about what I want. It's about what I'm stuck with. I haven't got a leg to stand on with Kyle. And Kane's hardly going to go out of his way to help us, is he? Not after the other day, anyway. Well, all right, so you might not be able to be his mum right now, but anything's better than nothing, isn't it? Hiya. Hiya. How was he? Yeah, he's good. He asked after you. Said that you had fun at the playground. I think he's wondering if you might take him again. What did you say? Fat chance of Kane's got anything to do with it. Will you stop it? The fact that Kyle wants to see you is a big deal. And it makes it harder for Kane to ignore, right? Of course it does. As long as we just take this steady, Kane's going to have to give in eventually. I thought you were out for a ride. Yeah, well, I decided to cut it short. Presume that's OK with you? You're the boss. Even though it does feel more like two best friends hanging out most of the time. Marcus, you're back. With a half hour to spare, I might add. Well, I'll take it you found something. A contact managed to get hold of a CCTV image from an ATM in Monte Carlo. It shows an individual withdrawing cash from your account. It isn't the clearest, but you can still make them out. I uh, take it you recognise them. <laughs> You having a look on that or not? Mm. Charity said she'd mind the bar for an hour, which, let's be honest, probably means five minutes, so I'm grabbing it. I know we said we were going to wait a while before telling anyone, but I really don't want Charity to take the mick. I can handle Charity. Yeah, I, I know you can. It's, it's, um, if I'm honest, I'm really struggling to keep it in. I, I feel a little bit like I'm going to pop, and I'm sure it's written all over my face anyway. Fine. See, as you've got such little self-control, why don't we rally the troops tomorrow and tell everyone about the baby together? Yeah, brilliant. Oh, you're not sticking the kettle on you, babe. Well, that stint lasted a while. No, it's fine. Marlon's on it. You stay there. Um, hey, listen. Me and Paddy were talking about, well, getting everyone over tomorrow for a family lunch. What do you think? All right. Yeah, cosmic. Sorry, why? Why not? I mean, it's been ages since we've all been together. Minus Zach and Lisa, obviously, but, you know, is it our fault that they prefer Scotland to us nowadays? Do you know what? Tomorrow might not work for me, babe. Oh? Well, me and Vanessa have, um... Have no plans whatsoever. We'd love to come. Right, Charity? Right, well, that's all sorted. Great. All right. Yeah, where are you off? I'm taking Mum into hot and for tea, aren't I? Yeah. And Jack's at a mate, so we're making the most of it. What about you? Well, I'm uh, meant to be getting tea, but I'm running late. Kerry came round to see Kyle earlier. Sorry, why don't you go and wait for me in the car? Well, it's freezing out here. Oh, yeah, because that's what you really bother about. Oh, um, fine, have one of your private little slanging matches. You see if I care. I take it it didn't go that well with Kerry then. Kyle was asking questions about Amy. I mean, what has she been saying to him? He hardly saw her for long. I don't know. But, I mean, it's, it's got to be weird for her as well, hasn't it? You know, suddenly spending time with him like that. Meaning? Meaning nothing. Kids ask questions, they blow hot and cold, it's what they do. It doesn't mean it's a big deal, does it? <sighs> time will tell. Listen, um, about what happened with Kim in the pub. Oh, please, believe it or not, I really don't want to talk about that woman. Yeah, I know, but just give her a wide berth, yeah? Don't let her wind you up. She's my problem, not yours. Not my problem. Are you kidding me? She's the one that started all yeah, this. Yeah, and I'm going to finish it. So trust me, yeah? Oh, trust you? Is that some sort of joke? <laughs> Ooh, someone that's happy. We just packed off long distance, Jimmy. Got the telly in the bed to yourself. No. As it happens, I've just been to see my hotshot physio. 
He's from Colorado. Mm. Now, there was a time when I would have been all ears, giddy at the sniff of someone else's excitement. But now I've got a doctor of my own, I don't really feel the need. Wow, you really can drop the D-bomb anywhere. <laughs> anyway, it's his expertise that's most impressive. You know, he specialises in this new nerve damage thingy, Bob. He reckons I can make some definite progress. Oh, right. Well, that's brilliant, then. I know. Turns out I'm on a roll of late, with Kim begging me to work for her again, too. Oh, speaking of which, um, can I have a word? How about uninvited? So, anyway, your recommendation that I stand for the local council? Uh, I think recommendation is pushing it. Apart from you're not the only one that suggested it. Call it a mandate from the masses, if you like. If you're referring to what I said yesterday, I was mostly being facetious and sarcastic. Remind me to hide you in a cupboard when I'm out on the campaign trail. Uh... Alas, I think that's impossible. There's one thing that the people demand from their councillors, and that is absolute transparency of their private lives. Oh, and any past criminal misdemeanours. Oh, yes. Kitty biters need not apply. <laughs> I've heard the stories. <laughs> uh, Bite-er, singular. And it happened over five years ago, so it doesn't really count anymore. I did my research. Ah, so the public indecency thing in Dubai still would. Beneath, cop it now. Bernice has a point. They will try and dig up any dirt they can. Well, and yet you still manage to wheedle your way in. Uh, besides, I'm not easily scared. Yeah, but the voters might be. Have you? <laughs> well, personally, I can't think of a better ambassador for the community than a woman juggling two jobs and a young family. So it's not all about the power and the glory, then, is it? Turns out our money worries are over. Huh? As yeah, long as we're prepared to chuck our lot in with Kim Tate. What are you on about? Yeah. She called me in the top field, offered to buy into this place. <laughs> I hope you told her where to shove it. Mm. It's a tiny bit of shoving. Mm. Well, that's the trouble with the top field. It's foggy at this time of year and it's too easy to slip. You are joking. <sighs> Kane, she is so up herself. And infuriating. <sighs> All right, so I shouldn't have done it. Not without filming it anyway. Great. What do you think she's going to take out in you if we don't play ball over this place? Well, yeah, she could do that. But then if I go down, so does Graham, so... I don't think she's going to want to incriminate one of her own, is she? We hope. I take it your friend's gone. Marcus? Yeah, he's very good, actually. I'm thinking of offering him a job. Yours. I wasn't aware I was leaving. What did you think might happen when I found out what you've been up to? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Oh, I think you do. Turns out Joe's the boy who won't die. We can win this, you know. That's all you keep saying. Anything that you've ever done for that little lad is because you love him to pieces. And I'll take on anybody who says otherwise. Well, you best get your boxing gloves and flak jacket and head on up to Butler's then. Because Kane knows everything, does he? Well, because he's got another kid now and had a stab of playing old MacDonald. I mean, how does somebody like him get a second chance and not you, eh? And what if I don't dare try, eh? Well, then you'll no doubt always regret it. Let's face it, it's going to hurt whether you're with Kyle or not. It's kind of a done deal the minute you give birth, right? Amy, please. Look, if it all goes belly up, then we'll pick up the pieces together. But at least you won't be eaten up with what ifs. I can see how much you want this. Fine. Fine as in, you'll stay here fine. Fine as in, yes, you've worn us down. I suppose it's got to be worth a shot. It is! Come here! Oh. You can't prove this is Joan. Could be anyone. It's clearly him, Graham. Which means you lied again. 
There never was a body to dispose of because he was never dead. And not only is he alive, he's been sunning himself at my expense. <clears throat> How did you find out? He was drawing money out of my account from a cash point in Monte Carlo. I mean, it's hardly the stuff of MI6. I meant, how did you know to look? Because I know you remember. I could tell you were hiding something. Anyway, Marcus confirmed it for me, along with his precise location and the hotel room he's staying in. Was staying in. I decided it might be shrewd to move him on. What? You're not the only one with eyes and ears out there. You're lying. Am I? Do you honestly think I'd put Joe into harm's way again? Oh. Spoken like a true hero. If you hadn't let Cain believe he'd killed him. Yeah. Seems you're not the only one with a ruthless streak. <laughs> Don't get big-headed. Joe might be out of my reach. But you're not. A bombshell later, can Harry Redknapp get former England footballers Robbie Fowler and Matt Letizia back in shape? Find out in Harry's Heroes, The Full English tonight and tomorrow night at nine. And if it's drama you want, only miss the twists and turns in our thriller Cheat. Starring Catherine Kelly, head to ITV Hub to catch up. Next, tragedy strikes in Coronation Street.